All right, guys, welcome back to Area 51. Um, I don't hear the static anymore. Uh, hopefully you guys don't either. Um, so I, don't, I think it was literally just another console restart. Um, it's the next day, but anyway, here's where we can look at the data bank and secrets. So let's look at these. We have secret files one, unlocked two of five, overall two of 21. Dr. Cray Video Diary 1, number 1. My name is Dr. Winston Cray. I have been here since the beginning. My life's work has been to untangle the mysteries buried within the DNA of man and the others. To fulfill a pact and in turn become the linchpin for a new world order. Circumstances have changed. Okay, then we have Dr. White's secret message to Illuminati initiates number one. For the uninitiated, I am Mr. White. My real name is unimportant. I am the facilitator of Dreamland. Yes, the maker of dreams. I like that. It's poetic. Very short. Okay. Then we have data bank, which is all the stuff we've been scanning. Um, okay, I guess. So there's 90, and it's saying how many we got on each level. So we are missing quite a bit. How do we... Oh, I'm an idiot. We're switching... Okay, so welcome to Dreamland. We only got one of five. Unknown skin type. Human DNA chains have restructured, resulting in extreme and rapid cellular, cellular mutation. Pathogen, highly evolved variation of TSE, transmissible... Spongiform encephalopathies. This variation appears to attack all organs as well as the skin. Related pathogen families, BSC, mad cow disease, CJD, whatever that word is, Jacob disease, pathogen biology, malformed protein molecule, infectious prion. Method of infection unknown. Morality rate six hours predicted. Okay, then we got the hot zone. We got three of five. Super contagious body. S4 laboratory biological division. Laboratory log. Supervising research officer Frederick Henry White. Phase four of the Theta project is progressing well during our last test. With the Phase 4's infectious attack, we uncovered a very interesting development happening within the remains of the victim. It appears that the deposited mutagen continued to multiply and fester in the mutilated corpse, becoming some sort of mutagen factory. We look forward to a future test where we will examine the effect of this contagious corpse on surrounding mutant organisms. Then we have Unknown Artifacts Discovery. Whoops, that's the picture of it. Um, deployment Santiago in Chile. Summary report materials analysis. Isla de Pascua, Rapa Nui. Following a SATCOM alert requested spectral analysis and magnetic resonance. Imaging tests were conducted on site. Survey team reported materials of unknown origin at the depth of 14 meters. Attached readings consistent with 1951 Nevada findings. Survey team leader speculates objects were in place in the form of identical oblong polyhedrals approximately 87,000 years prior to aboriginal efforts to anthropomorphize objects by carving crude faces into stone exteriors. Initial naval contact Easter Day in 1722. See archived ship journals for Admiral Rogen Venet. Given high profile nature of cultural artifacts, recommended leaving objects recommend leaving objects in place pending further approval. Site should be added to Mill Star Recon Trajectory. 
then employee reprimand from Internal Affairs and Information Services, ISD, sent Thursday, May 6, 2004, 12.45 p.m. to R. Brennan, MLA, DD, USD. Subject urgent. Use of non-authorized propaganda importance high for official use only. Mr. Brennan, you are in direct violation of personal conduct code numbers. You are ordered to remove all and any non-authorized propaganda that is applied to your vehicle. Security has indicated that you have a bumper sticker mocking the relationship between alien life and the U.S. government. Our policies are meant to avoid public scrutiny and investigation met by maintaining a low profile on such subject matter. Failure to comply will result in your immediate termination and removal from your premises. Internal Affairs and Information Services Directorate. Then we have the search. We got three of five. Might jar. Mites. One of the first experiments with mutagen involved Dr. Cray dropping a single drop into common insects, ants, ticks, dust mites. It is unclear which species these grew from, though it is likely either the deer tick, uh, I, uh, Zotus scapularis, or the brown dog tick, Rif Ripicephalus sanguinis. However, employees usually refer to them as mites. Their exceptionally aggressive behavior was bred for land war use. Unfortunately, they have escaped the lab and are now a horrible nuisance. Unknown life form. Non-human DNA chains, 242 extra chromosome based pairs. Embryonic fluid based on an unknown organ phosphate. Unclassified cellular organic Organisms transport nitrogen and ethylene glycol to artificial grown blood vessels analogs. Plasma type fluid, possible blood replacement rich in nitrogen, stereotypes or serotypes show evidence of cloning. Vectol work order. Uh, work order number numbers. Department Biological Analysis Laboratories Weapons Division. Request submitted for 10,000 clear polycarbonate titanium reinforced biological specimen containers. The shipment must be delivered by the end of this week in order to transport the remaining organisms that were responsible for the incident at the decommissioned Green River Launch Complex. These specimens must be handled with extreme care as they are very much alive. We believe that Vectol containers filled with phosphor-enriched cattle bile should be effective in neutralizing the organisms for safe shipment to Area 51. And we have, they get bigger. We only got two of five in the last, last two. Atlantis map, lot 235, exhibit J. Item, chart, diagram, document. Analysis of the Atlantis map has resulted in several observations First, there seem to be two symbols on the map that are clearly Os Osirin. One is known as the Flower of Life. Variations of the symbol have been found in early civilizations throughout the Middle East uh, and Asia. The other symbol is the Jed pillar in this Os Osirian symbol. The pillar represents the backbone of the physical world as well as the channel through which the divine spirit might rise to rejoin its source. Both symbols together may describe the life cycle of these civilizations where by the circle of life is completed upon some sort of travel back to a home world. Looking through the map, we do notice how the city seems to have an industry based on fantastically advanced weaponry and defense. There are several large areas that may represent munitions stores. There are various areas containing symbols that appear to be projectiles propelled by flames. There were several major seaports, each having the protection of these mechanisms. A ring of obelisk symbols encircle the city, and each has a zigzag symbol similar to lightning next to it. What is more peculiar are the symbols that represent machinery appear to be flying. Between this map and the star chart, relating pyramid and sphinx positions to a dark star known to be inhabited by the EBEs. 
we are finding a curious relationship between these early advanced civilizations and the EBEs. The EBEs have been reluctant to divulge any information confirming our suspicions of a connection. Whether the Atlanteans were from a distant world or if they merely worshipped the idea of traveling to a distant mythical world is still unknown. What we do know is that the entire civilization mysteriously disappeared nearly 10,000 years ago. While we have found archaeological remnants of the Osirians throughout the seabed of the Mediterranean, we have yet to find any such artifacts from the Atlanteans. Maybe each met a different fate just before the Great Flood. Holy hell, that was a lot. Experiment Volunteer Request From Internal Affairs and Information Services, ISD, sent Tuesday, August 23, 2004 at 2.35 p.m. to MLA DD USD, subject urgent to call for volunteers. Tolerance trials importance high. For official use only, our behavioral laboratories need volunteers for the new tolerance trials starting next week. These tests are straightforward and simply test the responsiveness of our latest ultrasonic biological sensors as they apply to the optic nerve. Scarring for these trials will be non-existent as we will perform the slightly invasive procedure from a less noticeable and readily available entrance. Volunteers exhibiting, a regular, exhibiting regular bowel movements are preferred and free therapy along with counseling will be provided following the procedure for as long as required. We know that this trial will be very popular, so sign up early. Internal Affairs and Information Services Directorate. Then we got welcome. Okay, so that's the last one. So we've actually missed three to four on every one. No, only two with the hot zone. Um, but I, now that we know how to get there... Um, And obviously, like McCann, Ramirez, we saw that. Um, now that we kind of know when or not when, but that once kind of everything stops, you can go and look around. I may go ahead and just scan the areas um, a little better. Now that I know that there's there's it seem it's seeming that there's five in each. Um. At least of those notes. So, I need health. You keep coming, I'll keep serving. Holy shit, another hazmat. A. I'm happy to see a familiar face. <laughs> I'd be happy to see a lot more than one. We got blindsided. Some kind of uh, a creature kept us pinned down here. Creature? I was an alien, Lieutenant. Aliens or not. We need to get those artillery turrets loaded to stop the next one. Here they come again. Cole, stay close. Holy hell. Upstairs, Cole. Grab the ammo magazines and load up those turrets. 
I know, but now that I know about all those readables and videos. Just trying to get all the ammo I can because I used a lot.
Oh, this is going to be how we get to the explosives, I think. Ah! Okay, we can't go in there. I'm just trying to make sure... I don't miss uh, documents. Can't go in there. Okay. It's such a fast paced thing, and you constantly hear people, you know, shooting and stuff that you think you kind of have to go fast, and that's what it makes you feel anyway, but you really don't. Ah, god damn it. Fucking might things?
to get out. Oh, okay. Marco, take point. Let's move it. Ah, oh, fire. I was like, I don't know how to get out of this thing. Maybe you should have stayed in the turret. What the hell? It's that thing again! Covering fire! Covering fire! What piece of me? Come on! I like how they're like, let's just stay as close as we can to it instead of trying to run back to the turret. What the hell was that thing? I don't know, but it could have been the same thing that killed my team. We better get out of here. Insignificant shell turns against you. Find the anti mutagen, and you may find a better death. A better death. Is there such a thing? I have to be hallucinating. Madness must be a side effect of the virus. I know this much. Chu is dead. But as long as I'm still breathing, there's nothing else but to follow that voice. One of them. Press R3 to perform melee attack, melee enemies to reply this mutagen.
So you do have a decent range with it. Do you still, yeah, you still jump, crouch, okay. Oh. I was like, what is this thing? So your mutagen s does seem to go down over time without you doing anything. My guess is you replenish the mutagen to stay a mutant. It's only one way, and that's the uh, vent. Ah. Okay, I was gonna say the problem is I can't see. Oh, I think you just had to wait. My time is precious. You must find Dr. Cray. Only he can prevent your descent into the madness. Find the mutagen, and I will ensure Cray finds you. Out of the frying pan. What the hell? How do we... So we can't get this right now. Yeah. 
So I guess we'll be coming back here, maybe. There's another one. Oh, God damn it. So we know where three of these are. Oh, press up to switch between human and mutant to press R1 while mutated to launch parasites. Melee enemies to replace. Oh, yeah, we know about that. Find the elevator. Okay, so we know where the elevator is. I'm just looking for all those newts. But I mean, seemingly there's, I don't think there's anybody left. And into the fire. Objective find Dr. Cray. Oh, God. Who's saying that? Somebody help, please. We'll do anything. Somebody, anybody. Okay, so an effective when you press X to refill mutagen. I was wondering where the hell that was. I was like, who is this? Oh shit. Well, that worked out. So 
see if there's anything else in here. That's back out there. So I, I'm guessing like the best thing to do is to become the mutant thing until you find like something like that. Not that, but um, like a, a thing you can scan, transform back, scan it, you know. Prey assassination. You must take care. The infection can take you over. The antitoxin has only provided you with temporary comfort. As your condition deteriorates, you will lose control of your humanity. So hurry, Mr. Cole, if you want to live. I don't know why it doesn't let you reload when you're dual wielding. Because that's the whole reason I lost so much health there, is because I couldn't reload and I was immediately out of ammo. What I should have probably done was just switch to a mutant. There's a lot of damn health doing this. Jeez. We have to do this part again. Yeah, we already got that, so that's good. Let me 
mutation takes hold, I hunger to consume my enemies. They become nothing but fuel for me. I try not to use its power, but I must. If I am to choose between mutation and death, the choice becomes increasingly clear. Internal changes. Oh, I have full health. I was like, man, I need some health. Hmm. The latter stages of the virus makes the subject more agile and aggressive. A perfect tool for spreading the infection. But that doesn't last long. Long enough to spread the virus. The cycle then continues through its contagious corpse. A breeder of yet more virus spreading children. Right. Isn't this just a shotgun? Okay. Checkpoint. So once this is done, we'll go Someone ahead and end it. Top side. No matter. Our soldiers will take care of you. But he's been infected. Even better. Yes. Even better. Should our guest have some company? Yes. <laughs> How appropriate. It's kind of funny, to be honest. Okay, so what we're going to do is quit here. And we're going to read all the things, because last time that took like 10 minutes just to do it. Because um, if we go to the campaign, it's internal changes, and then checkpoint one. So... We're right. We should be right there. Um, so secrets. Okay, so you only have up to five. Um, oh, sorry. Hold on one sec, guys. All right. Sorry about that. Had a phone call. All right. So we've gotten Doctor Cray video diary number one. We got Doctor White's secret message to Illuminati initiates number one. Now we have Dr. Cray Video Diary number two. So I'm guessing these we get just by going through the levels. I have sacrificed my very life to reveal these secrets. 
The experiments I have conducted over the years have taken their toll on my mortal coil. Science has at last failed me, as I am unable to heal my body. But my mind is still active, and it shall serve me to the end. I have done what I have done, so my work will not be in vain. It shall live through the ages, and I shall be remembered through it. But I take credit for only what I have achieved here, deep in the bowels of this institution. The work was vast. Okay. Then we have Dr. White's secret message to Illuminati initiates number two. I first met Dr. Winston Cray during the Second World War. His brilliance in early DNA research earned him a leading role in developing biochemical weapons. The success of the Manhattan Project was inconsequential compared to the success we achieved. But our projects were never approved for moral implications. So unbeknownst to Dr. Cray, I engaged in several experiments of my own in the Midwest. Oh, the horrors I inflicted led to so many wonderful discoveries. But then the alien craft crashed in Roswell, and things took an interesting twist. When I discovered the biochemical marvels hidden in the one called Edgar, I sent Dr. Cray to work immediately. Okay. And I've got to say, this makes me like the game a lot more that, now that I know that there's these, because when I was younger, I did not find any... I didn't do anything. I just played through the game. All right, so... We're, we are on the last stand, I believe. Public Ebola test. Partially buried memos, memo one. Measured and average infected population spread rate of two miles per week if undiagnosed. The alien virus is very virulent and contagious. Its symptoms including high fever, headache, muscle aches, stomach pain, um, f fatigue, diarrhea, ending with the patient experiencing chest pain, going into shock, and then dying within. God. Government of Congo Brazzaville reports 64 dead in the districts of Kel and M Mabomo, with, unlike the first tests in Sudan and Zaire in 1976, civilian health officials named this new virus after the Ebola River in Zaire. There, there the mortality rate of 54% was... Memo 2. Blamed Jenkins for the mishap, which is a reasonable conclusion. This new dry version of the alien virus, while not a virulent or contagious, uh, not as virulent or contagious as the wet version, is very effective when inhaled. Placed within the bacillus anthracis, anthrax, host organism, infection can occur in three forms. Cutaneous skin, inhalation, and gastrointestinal. Result, key targets were missed because of the choice of conveyance. Only Le Lee and Dashiell payloads had mild success, yet early discovery led to containment. My recommendation is to, and that's it. Then we have Congressional Disinformation. From Ministry of Enlightenment and Truth, sent Thursday, March 2nd, 1994, year I was born. 11.35 p.m. to MSF whatever, all. Subject, urgent, congressional investigation, importance, high. For official use only. It has come to our attention that Congressman Stephen H. Schiff, R-NM, has become more aggressive in his pursuit for answers regarding the day of initial contact in New Mexico, 1947. He has demanded that the U.S. Governal Accounting Office, an investigative agency that works at the request of Congress, initiate an audit to locate the gather and gather all records related to the Roswell incident and investigate the handling of this incident. Unfortunately, our plan to release fabricated information through our channels at the Department of Defense have failed to convince the congressman that nothing more lies beyond the current truth. While the General Accounting Office is not under the contr our control, we do have the ability to prevent them from finding sensitive documents that may betray our activities. We need to deter their search. We will supply documents describing a top-secret surveillance project code named Mogul. 
This will be planted in the Edwards U.S. Air Force Base archives along with a created, ex created sample of a radar deflector. The Geo's search should easily uncover the evidence. This should give the congressman the cover-up that he is so intent on finding. Then we have one of them, which we missed one. Damn. Project Blue Book. Captain Edward Rupelet, Project Blue Book, August 1st, 1953. Read my tenure. New Grudge, of course, now Project Blue Book, but I always liked the original name, has, as you know, been seriously studying unidentified phenomenon since September 1951. While I have done my best to research all incidents and coordinates activities, I must admit disappointment for being left in the dark by General Garland on many an occasion. Lately, about the Robertson Panel Report. Bob Olison may be taking over my place, but I do feel I brought a level of professionalism, organization, and scientific seriousness that was unappreciated by my superiors. My recent studies at the Advanced Intelligence course in Denver only heighten my feelings of disillusionment. While we knew for sure the recent rash of sightings and second-level close encounters has raised public awareness of extraterrestrial contact, only if we as Blue Book agents share information about sightings and contact with full disclosure within the community, we will, will we ever be able to effectively deal with the aliens and prepare against whatever threat they might pose? After the huge wave of probes and scouts in 1952, I do not think they can be ignored, and I personally cannot stomach the lack of support the panel and the government has given this vital project. If we do not act now, we are doomed. Sincerely, Captain Edward Rubelt. Green River Launch Complex. From Central Intelligence Agency, sent Tuesday, October 3rd, 2003 at 12.05 a.m. to MLA USD, subject relocation candidate, Green River Launch Complex, Utah. Importance high for official use only. The decommissioned Green River, Green River Launch Complex originally housed our experiments with crustaceous animals and the genetic experiments to increase their aggression. This was our first instance of mutating Earth life forms with the alien virus. The missile silo provided a convenient environment in which to protect the research. Unfortunately, our first efforts at Terra EBE genetics resulted in the base becoming contaminated with a new biological agent. Apparently, the cow's organs, liver, brain, pancreas, heart, that we harvested to culture the mutated virus began to emit a highly infectious airborne byproduct. This byproduct was later discovered to be a malformed protein molecule infectious oh, molecule infectious prion and had properties similar to some highly evolved variation of bovine spongiform encephalopathias BSE. Unfortunately, we found that this variation was not limited to brain tissue and attacks all organs regardless of species. Many of the researchers began to undergo severe hemorrhaging. Bodies became twisted with bone-crushing muscular contractions indicative of cyanide poisoning. We believe the complex is still contaminated and should not be considered as a candidate for the, Green, the Groom Lake Military Facility Relocation Initiative. One can only hope that an outbreak such as this should never happen again. Cray Assassination From Ministry of Enlightenment and Truth, sent Thursday, April 23, 1967, 11.35 p.m. to MSF, UHK, all subject urgent, the impending divisionary lunar event, importance high. For official use only, Directive 294857, assignment tethered offspring. It is hereby decreed that the only offspring of Dr. Winston Cray be approved for termination. The termination shall commence on his son's birthday in this calendar year, which we have determined as next Sunday. Jesus. The son's termination will be committed in the presence of Dr. Cray during their remote video phone call. It is imperative that Dr. Cray be made to feel overwhelming anguish and helplessness while witnessing the death of his son. This inescapable emotional torture will pro progress our plans with Dr. Cray and his involvement in the final initiative. Jeez. 
Gray Experiment Chat Log. GL Sneakernet um, Connection Alice Larvin. Con oh, connect Alice Larvin, connect Marie Roberts. A Larvin. Hey, get your report done? M. Roberts. No, the entire department is running behind. Too bad. You'll catch up. But what happened in D-Lab yesterday? I heard some funny stuff. Already? You must have it heard from Blaine. Our design engineers cannot keep anything quiet. <laughs> Good guess. Would like to see him without a lab coat on, though. Who know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Yes, quiet. Anyway. We had another near disaster. One of our test subjects woke up a tad too soon. He or she is a Midwestern mother of three, out cold on the table, just a week after she was last seen being forced into a white van somewhere in Ohio. Oh yeah, terrible. I saw the news reports, candlelight vigil, hubby talking to the press, photos on the ki of the kids, sad. I mean, I know it was us, more or less, but still sort of sad from the outside perspective. If she hadn't been taken by our people, she would have eventually gone one way or the other. True. So she wakes up, apparently. The anesthetics used by our partners don't always work with some sub-genotypes. She's looking around, sees that she's be been opened up. Some of her organs are set aside extra corpus on the operating tray. Ew. Yes. Then she sees them, all huddled around. They keep the lights low when they're working, so they're all gathered close, about eight of them. With their big dark eyes and zero empathy expressions, she loses it, of course. Poor woman. At least up here we get to cut cut on them, rather than the other way around. By the way, avoid that blue-gray synovial fluid of theirs if you can. The smell will never come out of your clothes. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, the subject actually runs around the operating theater for a while. The little buggers didn't do anything to stop her. They just watched with this total and analytical interest. Of course, as she was bouncing off the walls, very messy. It's no picnic down here, either. Finally, one of the security guards brings her down. The look in his eyes afterwards was not exactly harmonious. Another case of post-trauma, for sure. Session terminated. Oh, Jesus, that's crazy. And we'll read this one. Um, oh, no, wait. So did we only find one in internal? We'll read this. Death request for form letter. I don't know if we're past this one or not. Mr. Rosen, I regret the impersonal nature of this request, sir, but due to the workload of our field agents, I must request additional details regarding the black level operation. Please complete and return the following. Again, I apologize for the formal nature of this request, but we are dealing with a considerable backlog among our North American operatives. Sincerely, Mr. Reed. Target of operations, last, first, middle, target, social security number. <laughs> Desired objective, termination, co coercion, coercion, abduction, surveillance. If you checked coercion, please provide additional detail. Approved, desired, methodology, sleep deprivation, torture, blackmail, extortion, psych, terror. Will you sanction involvement of target's friends and or family? Yes, no. Additional friend, family details. Abduction, death, removal of limbs. Scarring, blindness. Do you require a follow-up report? Yes, no. Okay, that's a lot right there. Jesus. So anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. Hope you're enjoying it. I really am, especially now that I know about the secrets in the databank. I wish the databank you kind of just got as you progressed and didn't have to search for it just because it's all very interesting and adds some more detail on this whole thing. So if, it's like if you didn't, you know, find them all, you're, you're kind of left out the loop. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Have a great day, and I'll see you. Bye.